Let's factor the equation x squared plus 8x minus 65. And the first thing we do, we want to get a skeleton equation here to start working with. Here's our skeleton equation. Next, we can find the signs that we will put in the skeleton equation here. See the last term is negative. If the last term is negative, we'll put a positive and negative in our skeleton like this. Next, we want to find the factors for the last term. That's the 65 and they should equal the middle term, the eight. So let's list the factors of 65. And I think that's about it. And I can see that the difference between five and 13, that's going to be eight. So the question is, do you put five here or do you put it here? Since I want this to be positive, I think what I'll do is I'll put the five here and then the 13 here. Then I'll get X times negative five, and then 13 times X, and that'll add up to eight X. So we factored this equation, X squared plus eight X minus 65. We should check our work with the FOIL method though. Multiply the first, the outside, the inside, and the last terms like this. And then we can combine these two terms together and this, that's the same thing we started with, x squared plus 8x minus 65. So we've done this part correctly here. Let's find the values for x that when we put it back in the equation here, it'll make this all equal zero. Zero equals zero, that's a true statement. So we could say x plus 13 equals zero, so x would equal negative 13, and x minus five, that equals zero. So we could just say X equals five. If you put five in for X and you do the math, all of this will equal zero. Likewise, if you put negative 13 in for X and you did the math, this would all equal zero. If you use the quadratic equation, you'll get these exact numbers here. This is Dr. B factoring the equation X squared plus eight X minus 65. Thanks for watching.